Hello everyone, Megan Boitano from RD to RD here. I am going to give you an overview today of how to use um, OBS uh, and Zoom to do a live side-by-side -side interview uh, to your Facebook page or within a group. Um, this is really useful um, if, you know, to, spruce up your live streams, allow you to do a live interview. I recently um, did this to my business page, which you see here, the RD to RD Marketplace. I can actually, um, if you haven't had a chance to watch that video, I highly recommend that you do. I think it actually is still here on my um, live feed. Uh, yeah, right here. So this video, if you wanna check out um, what it looked like. You can see here it's just me and then within a few seconds I actually had another uh, participant join. Hello everyone. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to actually show you the, how um, I accomplished that. Uh, so to the party. Uh, let's get started. So I mentioned using um, OBS which is a broadcasting software and it's free and then um, using um, Zoom. So the first thing you need to do is uh, make sure that you have installed, downloaded the OBS Studio. And um, so you have that set up on your computer. It's very easy to do. Um, I did that. And um, we'll go ahead and get started. So I actually have a live um, Zoom window up here. Hello, everyone. Um, <laughs> and what I'm going to show you how to do is um, I could share this Zoom link and invite somebody else to join and then they would, however many people show up, would um, appear on the screen and that is what will be broadcast live on Facebook. So let me show you um, how to get that set up. It's really important um, before you open up the OBS Studio that you go ahead and get Zoom up and running. Um, it basically takes your webcam and um, uses, takes over your webcam for Zoom. If you load OBS Studio first, um, OBS is going to kind of claim your webcam and then when you launch Zoom you're not going to have your um, webcam available. So here you are, you can see me. This is OBS, so um, the key is um, I already have um, these are called scenes set up. So for example, I'm using Zoom, so um, I already have a, a Zoom interview here set up, but I also have my webcam, which you can see it goes black, and that's because um, my webcam's not actually um, being used right now. It's actually Zoom, which is utilizing the webcam. Um, I also have a scene that allows me to show my desktop. So if um, during the live stream you want to switch uh, between. You can actually do so right here in OBS. You don't need to, um, you know, use Zoom to switch between and that's probably um, a best practice because you're going to have two, you know, different speakers on, but it's up to you, you know, if you want to, um, how you want to use that. I also set one up where, in this case you can't see it, but my webcam is showing as well as my desktop. So if I wanted to do a live stream where I had both my face and and uh, my desktop or some window showing, perhaps it's a set of slides or um, showing how to use a certain application or a plugin, I can do that as well. So I was mentioning before, I'm set up using the Zoom interview, um, the Zoom. Um, application. So the way I did that, um, you can see here, you have to choose a source. So you can see as I clicked through these scenes, um, I've basically given the scene a title, you pick that, and then I've told it what um, what the source is. So um, in this case, I um, for Skype, I was doing a window capture. I don't have Skype up and running right now. Um, and my desktop, oops, oh yeah, what am I doing there? The desktop, I used a, a display capture, and then um, for Zoom, I did a, um, a, I did it as well. So when you want to create a new scene, all you do is click plus, and then maybe I'll call this Zoom 2. Okay. 
and then obviously it doesn't have a source. So you have to go, you need to pick it, so you have it selected, and then you need to tell it what source to use. Um, and the way that um, that works is you want to do um, a window capture. So you need to go out here. Okay, let me show you how to do that. I may have done that a little too fast for you. Um, so let's um, get rid of that. So you choose the plus sign, you say I want a window capture, you can give that a name, um, I actually called my other one uh, Zoom, um, then you have to go out and say what window do you want it to capture, and in this case you can see here you have every window that your computer is running, so you can actually capture whatever window you want. So in this case, I'm going to say, hey, I want you to display, oh, that's the one I want to display, and then um, you'd hit OK. And now you have, I actually have the same exact thing on two different ones, and you can move it around, change the size a little bit, um, but that's how you create that scene. Um, and that's what Facebook is going to be broadcasting when you actually go live. So let's show you how to get it um, set up. So we need to set up Facebook um, to use OBS, and it's not that hard, so um, follow along here. So I've navigated to the page that I want to broadcast from, um, and you need to go into what's called your publishing tools, okay? So in this case, you need to tell it that you want to um, create, and what do you want to create? You want to do a live video. Don't worry when you click this button, you're not actually going live. Um, and it says, hey, I can't find the camera. And that's a good thing because it means your camera is currently in use by Zoom. Um, and uh, here we go. So instead of clicking camera, you just click over to connect. So you're telling Facebook that you want to connect your live stream here. So where do you want to broadcast it? So um, let's go ahead. Here's where you can type up some things. Um, I'm going, I'm a live video. So this is what is going to be linked up with your live video at the end. That's what's going to post. So if you have maybe some, you're going to mention some links in your video or, you know, go ahead and type that up in advance so that you're all ready to go. Um, that way you're not kind of scrambling to edit um, what you have posted there. Um, and this is where you can, um, you know, decide where you want to, um, you know, do that live stream too. I already um, navigated to the appropriate place before I went to the publishing tool. So, um, here you go. So we have our server and our stream key. So now we need to go back over to OBS and we're going to go under settings here and you have to click on stream. And I actually already have some things set up here. And actually the server, um, it may stay like streaming services. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos that say that the, the server never changes and some people said use custom streaming server. That's what I did and it worked beautifully. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make this window just a little bit smaller. So we need to get that URL and the stream key from um, Facebook. So it's just copy and paste. So again, control V and then we're going to, we're just going to control C and control V that. Um, this is that key so that's the server URL doesn't change so um, it's probably fine to do it the other way. But so we're going to hit OK, and um, what's going to happen is that's saved in our settings. So now the next step is to click Start Streaming here in OBS, and watch what happens. So I'm going to click Start Streaming, um, and then we're going to click back over into Facebook. So watch, oh, you start seeing here in Facebook, it says Fetching Live Stream. This can take a few seconds, so you wait. Um, Aha, so now you can see there's a little bit of a lag between what I'm saying and what you're seeing. That's perfectly normal. Um, this is where you might get things set up in advance and then um, you know you can invite your guest on or you could start your live stream and then maybe have your guest um, go ahead and join you later. When you are ready, what you do is you click this go live button here and that's what actually starts the Facebook live stream. 
And really that's all there is to it. So it's actually pretty straightforward. Um, I definitely um, recommend that you um, give this um, a try. It looks a little bit intimidating, but it's not. So um, feel free to um, check it out. Tell me about the experience you have, and I hope that you found this um, useful. There will be more fun tutorials coming on um, RD to RD in the near future. And uh, if you like this, go ahead and give me a shout out and uh, tell me about it. Thanks. Bye-bye.